Hello everybody, welcome back to Pokemon Prestigious Platinum. Uh, in the last episode, we defeated the final Elite Four member, Lucian. And now, we're on to the final event, the final episode of the um, actual playthrough type thingamabobby. Um, as I said, this will be the final... Well, it, I, it won't be the final episode because I still have post-game stuff to do, but... This is the last episode I'm recording right now before the summer vacation hits, so I will probably record the rest of the game um, during the summer, probably edit those and render them up uh, before that time comes, and then if I ever get a chance to uh, upload anything during the summer, I'll put those up, but other than that, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give Shinigami the Razor Claw because it ups the critical hit ratio. And Shinigami has at least Night Slash, which can get uh, a high chance of critical hit. So, hopefully that'll help. And we're going to come in here and we're going to face the League Champion, Cynthia. Yeah, let's go ahead and beat her. And we will get her position as the champ. But, you know, we don't have to be locked in this room for the rest of our lives. Which, you know, it kind of seems like a bad place to be, but... Starts off with the Spirit Tomb. Um, I knew that she was going to start off with the Spirit Tomb, so um, I wanted to have something to go out that could hit hard and hit fast. And that is why I sent out Shinigami with the upped critical hit ratio. Um, hopefully a couple Night Slashes with critical hits will be able to work. Unfortunately, it won't do anything if Shinigami is, you know, burned. So gonna have to heal him up and you know this battle took actually quite a long time if you can see it lasts for over 10 15 minutes I don't know I lost track of how long it took but it was it was quite a heated battle when I did it and uh, hopefully it does not lose any of its luster here um, I have not decided yet if after I do the post game stuff if I'm going to run the elite four again just kind of you know for another uh, credit end screen and kind of like an ending for the playthrough. I don't think that their teams would change since they already have a team of six that's already up in the 80s and 90s. Unless, of course, they were going to be uh, all up to level 100. Then, uh, then I might, but I don't think that would happen, so I don't think I'm going to go through and do that. But if any of them do turn up in the survival area, maybe after I'm done going through like, uh, battling through the battle area and catching the legendaries of Sinnoh, I might go back and do, like, four or five episodes of battling people in the, uh, battle area, the battle zone, whatever you want to call it. Um, really, this, this spirit tomb has got to stop burning Shigami, that's just getting annoying. But, um, yeah, I might go there, see if there are any gym leaders there that want to battle, um, probably go back at a time that Zane shows up there, because that's where he shows up, and then probably battle him. Um, I know that I'd have to battle him, like, two or three or four more times before his team is at level 100, so... I might do those, like, off-camera, and then show me battling him at 100 with a team of 100, and see how well the battle goes. Maybe that'll be, like, a final episode. Just kind of, you know, me and my rival duking it out. But, uh, yeah, so... Um, this spirit tomb already being a pain in the neck. Please let it go down. Oh, thank you. Whew, that took a lot longer than it needed to, but... Uh, here we can already see Garchomp coming in. Garchomp being the highest leveled member of her team. I think it's the highest level. There might be one of the two that are the highest level, but... I, I have to say, after this battle, I will have a couple complaints about Cynthia's team. Just because... Um... From what it's, from what I read, uh, he changed Cynthia's team to make it seem more like a feminine team, which I don't know. I kind of thought that was a little weird, and I really liked Cynthia's team before. But uh, already there, Arctic is down. I was planning on ice beaming it, but apparently Garchomp is faster and a lot stronger. So probably the same thing as in the actual 
uh, Sinnoh games where all of our Pokemon have straight 31 EVs, so, or IVs, whatever, whichever one it is that only goes up to 31, so, all of their stats are, like, at their highest without being completely trained up, so. And the fact that this guard jump is flamethrower, that's just a pain in the neck, so. I'm already losing, down, well, no, I, I revived Arctic, so, down one to, uh, one to one, so, hopefully Nana can come out here, uh, I really hope that Intimidate actually does something, and we will, oh, okay, so Inanna's faster than Garchomp, and, uh, wow, holy crap, okay, so that Dragon Rush did a lot, it's still doing a lot, and it's defeated, okay, wow, gee whiz, okay, so, um, the Garchomp is already down, and here comes a Cloyster. Now, I think Cloyster replaced Milotic, so you won't be seeing a Milotic in this, which I was kind of disappointed in, because I really, I really liked Milotic being on the team, but for some odd reason, she now has a Cloyster, and I'm pretty sure just one Dynamic Punch is going to take it out, which, you know, wouldn't have happened if it was a Milotic, but still. Um, Cloyster almost defeated, but it is confused. Probably gonna hit through the confusion because nothing ever gets hurt. Oh! It did hurt itself. And she'll go ahead and full restore it and I'll just punch it in the face again. I don't I don't care. It's it's a it's a big clam. I'm pretty sure Chief can handle it. Just getting a good shucking in. If you don't know, shucking is the is an actual word. It is the word used for what you do to clams when you open them up and you get all the meat out of them for cooking or whatever you do. Uh, let's go ahead and just use a cross chop here and uh, yeah, the cloister is down. So three down, three to go. Um, coming in next will be Altaria. Now I. I don't think Altaria was on her team before, but, you know, it's not bad, but still, like I said, I really liked uh, her team before. I think Altaria replaces Togekiss. Yeah, that that's it. Alright, so, um, this is, you know, that's, uh, I, I completely forgot. Okay, she has two more Pokemon after this? Yeah, okay, so, um... Already doing a lot of damage to Arctic. Arctic is not really good in defenses in this battle. These things can hit hard, they can hit fast, and holy cow. They're just a mean team, but still, I I think the battle I'm I'm sorry I keep harping on it, but I think the battle would have been a lot harder and a lot more interesting if it was the original team. Because here comes Roserade. Roserade is still left over from her original team. So this is going to be the last Pokemon that she has that is actually from her team from the normal Platinum game, and uh, the error I just kind of misclicked. I completely forgot, and I hit Thunderbolt instead of Flamethrower, so yeah, she's going to go ahead and put me to sleep. I'm just going to have to go ahead and use a full restore, because I don't want to sit here and try to wake up through it, but uh, let's see here. We're going to full heal or awakening? Do I have an awakening? Yeah, I got an awakening. There we go. Lava Storm is awakened once more, and Rose Raid going to use Sludge Bomb. Hopefully that doesn't do much. I don't care if it poisons me, because that just means the Sleep Powder won't work again. Wow, that Sludge Bomb did a lot, but I did not get poisoned. We'll go ahead and Flamethrower. Hopefully, coupled with the damage that it took from Thunderbolt, I'm pretty sure this Rose Raid is going to go down. That means that she already has one Pokemon left. Kind of disappointing that this battle was actually shorter than Flint's and Lucian's, so, yeah. And the last one is a Luminion, which, really, I, really disappointing, because Luminion, I have battled so many of these throughout the game, and they have not been a problem at all. Just, this thing replaced Lucario, and I was kind of upset about that, because I really liked Lucario on her team. And I feel like even if he had wanted to switch up the team, that he could have put on some better Pokemon. Especially in the place of Luminion. I mean, look at that. I already took it down more than halfway before it used Hydro Pump to knock out Lava Storm. 
pretty much anything I send in now can beat it. Especially Sabrina, because she has the Thunderbolt on her. So really, this this was kind of a disappointment, but, you know. Either way, what's done is done, and we have, at this point, is it down? Yes, the Luminion is defeated. At this point, we have beaten Cynthia and her really bad remake team. And, uh, yeah, we are now the champion of Sinnoh. So, that's a thing. I guess. Um, yeah, so, uh, Cynthia is going to congratulate us and, you know, talk about how we work together, me and my Pokemon, to achieve our, uh, our, uh, our victory. That's the word. Now we have to go up the lift and, uh, go on back to the place. Which, you know, you don't even see the elevator going down, so I honestly don't know how she will catch up to me by the time I get up here. And there she is, walking up here, acting like she didn't lose at all. And there's Professor Rowan! So, yeah. Um, they're, he's gonna congratulate me, and they're gonna talk like they're old friends or something. I'm pretty sure Rowan sent her out on her journey. Probably gave her a gibble because, you know, he's he is too cheap to give any of us good Pokemon. I mean, look at how Arctic turned out. I don't know, but yeah, uh, this is it. Well, I guess it's not it because I like I like I said at the beginning of the video, I've, I've still got a lot more to do. But this is it for the main part of the playthrough. Um, I hope that anyone that ever wants to play this, uh, you know, I hope I helped them out a little bit. Um, if they ever need help, I hope they can reference these videos. I mean, I know I didn't cover absolutely everything, but most of what I skipped out was just, uh, you know, Pokemon that you find in a route, or items that you find just lying around, because I really wanted to just get through the trainers and do the main event things, and, uh, as you can see right here, going through the Hall of Fame, getting us all in there, and, you know, that is going to be it for Pokemon Prestigious Platinum until we get through to the, uh, the post-game stuff, and after this, uh, we will be going back to White Dose, White 2, and yeah, congratulations on becoming the league champion, uh, less than 40 hours, wow, that's amazing, usually it takes me a lot longer to beat a Pokemon game, which, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that I'm slow, I'm just saying I like to take my time, so, uh, don't get on me. But, um, you know, I, I guess I didn't really plan on anything to talk about during the credits, so, um, you know, this is going to be like seven or eight minutes of credits rolling. Um, so, you know, I, I guess I will just take this opportunity to say, um, thank you all for sticking around. I really appreciate you guys hanging through there till the end. Well, not that I gotta I gotta stop acting like this is the end of the series. It's not. It's kind of like a. It's it's not a midway point. It's more like a 85, 90% waypoint. I don't know, but uh, you know, uh, this video probably I'm recording this in still April. Well, it's May now. It's like May 1st, May 2nd. I think it's May 2nd. Yeah, it's May 2nd. Okay, so. This will probably go up sometime in June or July, maybe August, if I stretch them out that long. But, um, even though it's going to be a long way from now, I would still like to ask everyone, uh, what they thought about the playthrough. Um, you know, what their, uh, reflections are, if there's anything that I could have done better. I mean, like, the whole first 20 episodes where I pretty much lost every major person. I probably could have done better there, but, um, you know, it's always starting out in a new game. It's kind of difficult because, you know, it's so hard to get started and get a good momentum going when, you know, everything in the game is upped and, uh, made stronger and harder to beat. So, you know, uh, there will always be problems, there will always be complications, but still, I'd, I'd like to know if there's, if you guys have any, uh, comments on what I could do better, 
Um, probably won't implement any comments I get on this until I do whatever playthrough I do in the fall. Um, if I'm really lucky, I'll somehow be able to get good internet this summer. And maybe in my off time when I'm not working, I will, uh, I'll, uh, record white 2 and maybe put that up through the summer too and then uh i really gotta stop saying uh but probably in the fall i will start something new probably the emerald nuzlocke and uh dang it i said uh again i really have to stop saying uh i sound like a caveman but hopefully uh, the Nuzlocke will go good. I've always wanted to do a Nuzlocke for the channel, and I'd always planned on, like, going through each generation and doing a Nuzlocke after I finished doing, uh, the Sacred Gold and whatever Platinum game I wanted to do, so, um, unless by some miracle a 3DS emulator comes out, you probably won't see X and Y from me when those come out. And I will probably just be working on Nuzlocke's. Um, maybe after I finish White 2 and while I'm working on the Emerald Nuzlocke, I might start up another ROM. Just, you know, to casually play through. I don't know. But, yeah. So, um, that's, that's really it. Uh, right now I'm really wishing that they would come out with a 3DS emulator because I, I would really enjoy doing... X and Y for my channel. I know that pretty much anyone that will be doing it uh, has some kind of capture device for their uh, 3DS, which I honestly have no idea how to work that. I, th I think it's something you actually have to physically build into your system. Or it's, I don't know, it's maybe something, it's maybe like, maybe it's something like the action replay where you had to stick the game into a device and then you put that whole thing into the slot where the game would go and then it's like would you like to record the game and you're like sure yeah and then later on you plug it into your computer or something but I'd have to look it up I mean I really wouldn't mind being able to uh, record X and Y while I'm playing it because that'd be fun but that is the end thank you all for sticking around and I will talk to you all later